So we're continuing our discussion now on the exploding pie chart and now we're going to take a look at this JavaScript function that gets called um, before the um, uh, Ajax callback uh, takes place. So uh, let's go back now to um, JavaScript now and look at the JavaScript function and you can see here that this um, pie data JS is looking inside a variable inside the dialog object called underbar exploded and if that variable is not undefined then it's going to just simply return the value of that variable otherwise it's going to return a value of uh, minus one so um, this function gets called uh, automatically whenever a chart is uh, refreshed on an ajax callback so if i were to go here and just simply put um, uh, let's change this over here to so we can put an alert in um, and then just go there and then say alert um. uh, and then uh, type in this value over here Let's go ahead now and then save it, run it, and then double click on the Pi. Sorry, I need to have this alert before the return, otherwise it won't execute. So go there now, double click. You can see there's my message telling me that I'm about to do a callback and that uh, the value that we're going to put into that variable is 2. So now uh, let's go and take a look at how this variable here got set. So I'm going to go back to controls now and if I look at my chart I can see that there's a property here called has events and I've checked that and now he has the on double click and inside the on double click basically uh, it tells me here uh, what's available to me in this JavaScript um, event handler. So these variables are all available to me. Um, these are different um, uh, pieces of information about uh, the chart and where I clicked and so what I need to do is uh, store the chart point number this is the this is the uh, pie slice that I clicked on so if I clicked on the first slice this value will be zero so this is uh, storing a value um, inside the um, uh, the, uh, the chart uh, inside the dialog object so this is just a variable called underbar exploded and then uh, as soon as I've stored that value I call the refresh method on uh, uh, for chart number one so this causes uh, chart number one uh, to uh, refresh so instead of calling the uh, refresh chart method of the dialog object I could also have called the refresh method of the chart control um, as follows so you can see here that um, I could also have um, gotten a pointer here to the chart uh, object so this is the code that gets appointed to the chart object and then I call the chart objects refresh method so these two lines of code are equivalent uh, to the um, um, uh, to this line over here which is calling a uh, a refresh method of the chart this is the uh, preferred syntax over here so in this video we've shown how we have both client side events uh, this is the on double click event which is uh, in turn causing an ajax callback which uh, refreshes the chart thank you very much